Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Marty Kokish. Welcome to Marty's Garage. So today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, the sills, the MGB. Um, and uh, I, I don't think I'm actually going to start replacing them today, but I'm just going to talk about uh, the, the parts and pieces that, that make up the sills. Because um, I, I don't know, I kind of had a little bit of trouble figuring out what exactly uh, uh, goes into uh, goes into the sills and rocker panels and stuff when it, in terms of what parts to order and stuff. Um, and I've, I've gotten some other comments too saying kind of arriving at the same conclusion. So I thought maybe I'd, I'd just talk uh, about Starting from the outside uh, and working my way in, there's uh, you start out with the rocker panel. This is what I actually, uh, it's gonna mount out on the, uh, this is what you see on the outside of the car. And uh, let's see, this, uh, this tail piece from here back actually uh, uh, extends back behind the, the rear quarter panel. So uh, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna need to at least um, uh, get a dog leg replacement as well, um, because you're gonna have to cut that out of the rear quarter panel. Um, do all this stuff and then finish off by welding that back in. Um, and I think I kind of alluded to this uh, in one of my other videos. Mine, instead of just doing the dog leg, um, I'm kind of rusted out along the uh, along the uh, wheel well here. So I just got this whole half section. This is uh, from you've got the chrome trim piece that goes uh, right across here um, on the. Uh, on the quarter panel, and this is so. This is pretty much from there down, um, so it'll cover that whole thing. So that's what I'm doing. And then uh, uh, moving inward. Uh, next up from the rocker panel, we've got this uh, this big vertical piece, which just uh, you can see it's got these uh, triangular structures stamped into it, and it's just. Uh, uh, just adds a little bit more structure to the whole deal, but uh, so there's that. That's next, and uh, finally here we've got uh, uh, we've got the lower piece to the sill, um, and then uh, we've got the actual upper inner sill piece. Uh, and this is what you see uh, uh, inside the car. Um, and uh, one thing to note, um, you're going to want to check out and see how rusted through yours are because uh, um, I don't say I, I kind of I, I bought one side, I kind of bought these piece, pieces separately, the other side I bought the kit from Moss Motors. And it looks like the kit um, is only a partial, um, you only get the partial so it stops right about here. So if you're rusted out back here, you're going to want to check that out and confirm if you're thinking about getting that kit. Um, but uh, I think I'm actually, I'm going to be okay because on the passenger side, inner sill, I'm, I'm okay here, so it um, uh, shouldn't affect me. But So there's that. Those are the, uh, the so that right there makes up the major uh, um, uh, structure to the sills. There's a couple of other pieces. Okay, in, in addition to those four uh, uh, major structural pieces, we've got uh, three little pieces that go along with it too. Um, here we've got uh, our jacking point. If you still have the stock jack and want to use it or you just want to keep the original look of things, um, there's this is the, the jacking point that attaches to the bottom of the whole assembly. And then we've got this uh, this inside reinforcement that goes uh, inside the rocker panels and stuff, and uh, gives a little bit of structure uh, where that uh, uh, where that jacking point attaches. And then uh, finally, we've got this rear end filler um, piece. And uh, quite honestly, I think uh, mine are probably long gone because <laughs> I, I I can't really tell by looking at mine, so, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll have a better idea of where these go once I start putting things together, I think. Okay, I'll just, just kind of show you where I'm at nowadays on the, on the MGB, you can see, uh, 
back here on the uh, the rear quarter panel I cut out a little chunk I was just kind of poking around seeing what's going to go into uh, replacing those rocker panels so you can see down here um, you can see the uh, you know I've got kind of a big gaping hole in there um, and uh, you can kind of see that hole up front there but under indefinite need of replacement and uh, basically next up I'm gonna before I get too carried away I'm gonna throw the door back on make sure it's it's uh, gapped properly and uh, 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 can open and close without any obstruction and then uh, um, I'm gonna reinforce the space because once I cut all this stuff up it's gonna it's gonna fold up like a banana <laughs> unless I've got something uh, to kind of hold the structure to get it together a little bit so that's that's all I got for today uh, thanks for watching uh, shows available iTunes Zoom marketplace Facebook YouTube uh, www.martoon.net oh yeah and a uh, new thing I'm kind of trying to throw together in a, on, on the website is uh, and this kind of only applies to the Minnesota people uh, that watch the show and stuff um, you know it's it's not a lot of good lists of car shows in uh, Minnesota uh, that I found on the internets so um, I'm trying to uh, if, you, if you go to if you go to that martoon.net there's a, uh, a car shows link on the upper left side and I'm kind of throwing together a calendar of all the different ones happening across the state and uh, yeah, I don't know if you know of any that you like and stuff. Uh, send them um, over to me, and I'll I'll get them put into the calendar. And I don't know. I I just think it'd be a good resource. So, um, but yeah, that's 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 all I got. Thanks for watching.